dysautonomia a cardiac or a neurological condition? Um, this is interesting because a lot of the symptoms that everyone has from dys dysautonomia feel cardiac. And there are a lot of people that have true cardiac pathology that is contributing to their dysautonomia. So you might have a heart valve issue or you might have had a congenital heart defect or a congenital vascular issue or you may actually have altered cardiac um, electrical rhythms and things like that. Um, but most of what you guys are feeling are cardiac symptoms where you, you are tachycardic and your heart rate's high or you have a bounding pulse and this is where people are saying like, I can feel my heart beat in my chest. Um, you may have palpitations, you may have PVCs. So a lot of what you're experiencing is the result of how the autonomic nervous system is affecting the way that your heart is functioning or that the vasculature is functioning. So we kind of lump that all in together, but really it's your heart along with all of your blood vessels. So dysautonomia is truly a neurological condition in the way that your brain and the entire central nervous system are communicating with the vasculature to tell it how to pump your heart when to when for um, to increase the sympathetic output and make your heart rate go up or when to decrease the sympathetic output and when it should be at more of a resting state. So all the time your brain is communicating with your heart and your vasculature so that when you do any given thing, for example, sitting here and explaining a question, my heart rate shouldn't be 100 beats a minute because I'm not up walking around or it shouldn't be 150 beats a minute because I'm not out there doing a high intensity exercise, right? My brain is telling my body that we're in a rested state and therefore the vasculature and my heart are responding appropriately. When you have dysautonomia, your brain is not communicating that information to your heart and to the vasculature, and therefore you get static in communication between those systems, and so you feel all of these symptoms of the dysautonomia. I hope this helps. Um, a lot of times our patients are being seen both by a cardiologist as well as ourselves, functional neurologists. Um, sometimes they're seen by a medical neurologist, but usually we are working in combination with the cardiologist because they can help us with those cardiac symptoms as we go in and help retrain the autonomic nervous system so that communication between the brain and the vasculature are better.